Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I am jumping into another process video in the Home Sweet Home collection. This is a journal kit slash collection that I released back in the month of March. I am currently taking a break from these collections due to the fact that we are preparing to sell our home and move to a different state. So things are a little crazy and hectic, but I am anticipating a collection release for the month of August, for those of you who might be curious. If you missed my little chatty update video I posted probably a week ago now, I will link that in the description box down below if you just kind of like to get a heads up of the crazy things running through my mind right now and what we've been up to. So check that link out down below if you're interested. So today I am just going to decoupage on some tags. There were some adorable napkins in this kit and there was also some fun napkins in some of the extra ephemera packs that were released with this kit. This has sold out long ago. I'll mention that now because I have had people ask me about it. Um, so this stuff is no longer available, but I'm really anticipating and looking forward to the next one. I'm already, I've already been collecting some things, so that one will be fun as well. But if you are new to decoupaging and you would like a little bit more instruction that I'm giving here in this video, I will link a past video down below where I was pretty specific on how to do some of this decoupage with paper and napkins and vintage papers and everything. So I will link that down below as well if you are someone who's interested in that. Otherwise, I'm just sharing the process of creating these tags. Like I said, these napkins were so cute. I was in love with the garden vegetables on them and the fact that they were small so you could do a little bit of collaging with them. So this sheet of music came in my particular kit and I loved the fact that the date was still on here from the 1940s, if I remember correctly. So I wanted that to show and I'm just trimming it up. I'm using Tim Holtz Collage Medium. I didn't share that in the video, but you can use watered down glue here or Mod Podge or whatever it is that you enjoy using for decoupage, of course. And here I just added that paper a little crooked so I'm attempting <laughs> to trim that up. And then I'm going to be decoupaging the napkin pieces onto this tag using the collage medium again. Oh no, I see that it was 1927, not the 40s. Isn't that crazy? This is what I love about junk journaling. Just knowing that this piece of paper is almost 100 years old like it has a life of its own right whoever wrote that little note on there when their student practiced that piano piece i just absolutely love it and i know you guys do too and i'm just struggling here to get my little punch <laughs> my little hole punched back in my tag if i would have taken those little brown pieces off of that original tag that would have been helpful but anyway here i am using my water brush again to just cut out some of those carrots i'm going to add to the tag as well and then i'm going to add a couple little more elements from the kit Well, hold that thought on finishing up that tag. I forgot I had moved ahead a little bit. I'm doing all my decoupage at once here. So this 
adorable napkin came in one of the kits as well. I like using washi tape to try to, if I don't use washi tape, sometimes I miss that extra ply layer that they have there in the middle and it just helps give a clearer image with your gluing, you know, if you get all the layers of napkin separated. This library pocket came in the kit. I did not use it in the front of my book. I did something else this time. So I am just going to add this piece of napkin onto this pocket and use it somewhere in the journal. So now I'm just going to take a few of the smaller tags that came in this collection. I have this little craft colored mason jar tag here and a couple smaller manila tags and I'm just going to add some more of these little vegetable pieces. I'm not crazy over the way that the napkins look on this craft tag only because the white doesn't blend away as well as it does like on one of our book pages or one of the manila tags but that's just me being extremely picky i still think it's adorable and i love the fact that those little vegetables fit on these tiny tags
for one last touch, I am busting out the Tim Holtz Small Talk sticker book. Love these, right? And I am just going to add them to this pocket and the tags. Now getting back to that first tag that we started with, I am taking the Tim Holtz bottle cap tag here that came in the collection and I'm using my crocodile, right? That's what it's called. It's been too long, you guys, too long since I've crafted. <laughs> and I'm punching a hole so that I can string that onto the front of my tag with some of the fibers that also came in the kit. That is pretty much it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. I'm so happy, even though these videos are late and they're posting late, that I have been able to take a little break and get them up. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button down below. It does help my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. You will be notified then of future videos and future collections. So again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you are doing awesome. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.